Greetings, Japan fans. Today's show, we're going to talk about the moment. Maishu, arigato gozaimasu. And welcome back to the 11th year of the Leadership Japan series. I'm your host in Tokyo, Dr. Greg Story, Dale Kanye, Tokyo franchise owner, president of Dale Kanye, Tokyo Training, and the three-time best-selling author of Japan Sales Mastery, which is Zaegyo in Japanese, Japan Business Mastery, and Japan Presentations Mastery, or in Japanese, Anata mo Present no Tachiden. My other books include Stop Wasting Money on Training, which in Japanese is Training de Okani o Mudni Sunre wa Yamimashou. And my just released new book is Japan Leadership Mastery, and all are available on Amazon. This podcast brings insights, examples, and experience about leading in Japan. Trust me, it is different here. Don't forget to subscribe and share this podcast with your family, friends, and colleagues. We're not being sponsored by Libsyn. But we value your privacy, which is why we have our podcast hosted by Lipsyn. Unlike many other hosting organizations, Lipsyn have a strict policy that does not allow access to your private information by anyone. Here is our daily podcast lineup on Apple Podcasts. Mondays, the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show podcast. Tuesday, the Presentation Japan series. Every second Tuesday, the Business Touches in No Share Show. Wednesdays, the Sales Japan series. Thursdays, the Leadership Japan series, and every second Thursday, the Business Pro Podcaster Show. Fridays, the Japan Business Mastery Show podcast. Saturdays, Japan's top business interviews. Before you're going, today's handy Japanese phrase is Turn right at the traffic light, please. Shingo o migie onegai shimasu. Shingo o migie onegai shimasu. Shingo o migie onegai shimasu. Can you turn right at the next signal, please? Shingo o migie onegai shimasu. Shingo o migie onegai shimasu. Now, this is episode number 578, 578. Today, we're talking about Ichigo Ichi Air. Cherish the moment leaders. This Japanese expression, Ichigo Ichi Air, linked to Zen, focuses on transience and can be translated as one time, one meeting, or treasure an unrepeatable moment. It is often closely associated with the Japanese tea ceremony, which is certainly never a hurried affair, and the devil is definitely in the details of how the ceremony is conducted. Contrast that with our modern leader life in business. We are constantly in motion, always time poor and harassed for 24 hours a day by an avalanche of emails. We migrate from one meeting room to another, confronting an endless assortment of meeting details. We have many agendas in our minds when we meet people and our shrinking concentration spans make a lot of what we do a blur, bereft of reflection. This is a poor contextual background for dealing with people. Being so time-challenged, we are constantly cutting corners and shaving off minutes to try and get it all done. Being efficient with people is a bad idea for leaders. But often, once we're on a roll, that efficiency bug takes us over. The Ichigo Ichie idea is we treat each moment of interaction as special, rather than just serial. If our team members felt that we were treating them individually as special, their engagement levels would be at very high levels in what is increasingly becoming a tech-driven, impersonal world. But often we are galloping too fast on horseback to smell the flowers as we fly by. If we break each staff interaction down to a single defining unit, we will change the pace we interact with people from busy and tormented to calm and caring. I remember a terrific example of Ichigo Ichi Air by Ian Mackey, my old boss at James Lang Wooten in Brisbane. It was after 6pm one evening, and I was sitting in his office having a discussion about a deal, when one of the secretaries was walking past on her way home, and she popped her head in the door to say something to him. In those days, 
directors were like gods compared to humble secretaries in that hierarchy. Yet, Ian stopped what he was doing and he gave her his complete and entire attention for that one moment. He was showing his respect for her as a person. It was a powerful experience for me to see how he handled that encounter. Find out more. We come back from the break. Today's show is brought to you by our public courses, but we also do custom in-house programs. We do them in Japanese and we do them in English. We do them in our super safe classroom. We do them live online. Our show today is being brought to you by, on the 3rd of October, our Dale County course, three-day version. On the 14th and 15th, we're doing a high-impact presentations class. Our website is www.dale-carnegie.co.jp. So that's www.dale-carnegie.co.jp. You can email me at greg.story at dalecarnegie.com. So that's G-R-E-G dot story, S-T-O-R-Y at dalecarnegie.com. If you like learning by watching videos, then we have over 2,300 there for you at Tokyo Japan Dale Carnegie TV on YouTube. We release three shows every week on YouTube. The Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. That's the premier business show in Japan every Monday Tokyo time. Fridays, we have the Japan Business Mastery Show, and on Saturdays, we release Japan's top business interviews, where I interview leaders from SMEs right up to the corporate captains of industry on one topic, leading in Japan. Now, every second Thursday, we release the Business Pro Television Show. Don't forget to grab my business best-selling books on Japan on Amazon, Japan Sales Mastery, which is Saegyo in Japanese, Japan Business Mastery, and Japan Presentations Mastery, or in Japanese, Anata mo Prezen no Tachijin. My other books include Stop Wasting Money on Training, which in Japanese is Training de Okani o Mudin Suru wa Yamimashou. And my just released new book is Japan Leadership Mastery. And all are available on Amazon. Welcome back. Often, as the boss, we don't show enough respect because we are rushing, preoccupied with what we need to get done, and that people can become cogs in the flywheels of our business. Like Ian, we need to slow it down to a stop. Focus on the person to the exclusion of everything else. Stop our brain from racing ahead and give that person our full attention. Sounds easy to say, but actually doing it is very difficult. We're usually caught up in the moment of what we want and what is important to us. We are perpetually rearranging things to suit what we need when we need it. I'm the first one to raise his head as guilty of trying to do too much in too short a time and just constantly cramming stuff into my day. Such of my interactions are very business-like. That is not a great idea when we are leading and dealing with people. Ichigo Ichi as a concept reminds me to stop doing that and instead treat every staff interaction like a treasure. Once I switch my mindset to that treasure construct, then everything changes, especially around my time allocation. Just mentally slowing down while I'm speaking to my team member allows me to be more considerate, less selfish, and less self-centered. Instead of being me-focused, I can switch to being them-focused. I can ask about things that are important to them rather than making sure that brief conversation is all about what is important to me at that moment. I've learned to stand my keyboard up so I can't use it when one of my team comes to me to talk, and this helps me to focus my eye contact on them. I was reminded of how important this is when I visited a doctor here recently. The head of the clinic was sitting slumped in front of his screen and typing when I entered his office. He didn't greet me, didn't even look at me, and kept his face toward his computer, screen, and keyboard. Frankly, it was unbelievable, especially in this modern age. It made me feel unimportant and irrelevant. This is how we make our team members feel when we don't stop what we are doing and don't focus on that one moment with them. 
from now on, remember Ichigo Ichie and practice treasuring every interaction with the team members and build their engagement and commitment one meeting at a time, one person at a time. Do this instead of rushing through life in an often meaningless and unfulfilling scramble. People do make the difference, and how we treat them is what stands us apart as the leader and how successful we are in that role. Thank you for joining the Leadership Japan series. If you found the program useful, then tell your family, friends, and colleagues. Don't forget to subscribe and share this podcast. You can contact me at greg.story at dalecarnegie.com. Our website is www.dale-carnegie.co.jp. Until the next episode, take what you thought valuable, put it into action, because idea application is what makes winners winners. So be one of them. Remember, I'm in your corner, your go-to guy for soft skills training in Tokyo, committed to your success here in Nippon.